All right. If we go to Migos, we want to get a burrito, and we can choose from six meats and eight fillings. Fillings are like vegetables or uh, vegetable like cheese, rice, beans. How many different burritos can you make with three fillings? So we want a three filling burrito. Now there's two things you have in your burrito. You have your meat and you have your fillings. Now, how many meats do you have to choose from? We have six. And on if you go to Migos, what you'll know is you get one choice. So I wasn't stated, but in general you get one meat. Now, would that be C or P? It would be C because there's no order to the meat. So it's C. Now the fillings, you have eight to choose from. And out of that eight, how many do we want? It says three. Now, does it matter the order of which they're in your burrito? No. Not really, because you're going to get mixed up pretty quick anyways. Now, next, we're going to find these two values. Do we have in our burrito meat and the fillings or meat or the fillings? And. Isn't there an and there? Ands are multiply, and it's going to make sense when we move down to here. Whenever you have an and statement, it's a multiply. Whenever you have an or, it's a plus. It wouldn't make much sense to have meat or fillings unless you're a vegetarian. So meat and fillings would be a multiply. Six C one. Well, if you have six and you're choosing one, how many ways can you choose six from choose one out of six choices? Hopefully you understand that is six. Now eight C three is a little bit more complicated. 8C3, well that's 8P3, which is 8 times 7 times 6, divided by the 3 factorial. It's a little bit more work. Doesn't this give you 6, which cancels with that 6? So isn't that 6 times 56? Now, 6 times 56, you end up with 336 ways to make a two a three filling burrito now are there more than eight choices of fillings probably could you also tack on sodas yes but in this situation you have a choice of a meat and three fillings you have 336 ways to make burritos that's a lot of burritos if you want to go back almost every day you get a different burrito every day for the whole year almost okay the next one pizza factory to choose from we have seven five meats and seven veggies they probably have more than that um, by the way assume it's all the same size and they have cheese on them, given cheese is normally not added cost how many different pizzas could you make that have at most three items? That word is at most. Now, if you have at most three items, could you have a no item, a cheese? Absolutely. Could you have a one item, yeah. a two item, or a three item? Yes. Could you have any of those yeah. if it's at most three items? Now, we're not going to pay any attention to the size of the pizzas. Assume it's a medium or whatever, a certain size. We're just talking about different pieces on top. Now, can you put whatever out of these toppings? So technically, how many toppings are there to choose from? Isn't it 5 plus 7? 12. So aren't there actually 12 toppings to choose from? And for the first one, for three items, wouldn't it be 12, 3? And would it be C or P? C. Do you care about what order the toppings are on your pizza? No. No. Usually you just kind of put them on. The order specifics are important. Now, that is a three item pizza. Don't we have or, what's the other one? Aren't two item pizzas possible? Don't we also have to worry about the one item pizzas and the cheese pizzas, no items? Now, oh, one more thing. Is this an or or and between these? Are we having all four pizzas? 
No, aren't we having this, or this, or this, or this? What do we say an or is? Plus. Ors are plus. Okay. 12C3 would be 12 times 11 times 10 over 3 times 2 times 1 plus, we'll come back and finish that, 12C2 is going to be 12 times 11 over 2 times 1. 12C1, do you understand that's 12? Because if I have 12 to choose from and I want 1, I have 12 ways. And if I have 12 to choose from and I want nothing, isn't there one way to get it and that's cheese? Isn't there one way to get a cheese pizza? It's a cheese pizza. Now, let's go back and solve these. Does that 2 and 3 make 6? So that cancel with this and leave you a 2? Now, it could go either way. I just went 3, 6 cancels and 12 leaving 2. There's multiple ways to cancel it. In the end, you should get right here 220. You could cancel it in different ways as long as you get 220. Now, the 2 goes into the six, 12 and leaves you 6 here. The 1, just ignore it. So 6 times 11 is 66. Now, as you look at this, aren't there a lot more ways to make a 3-item pizza than there are 2-item, 1-item, no item? But it, for at most three items, wouldn't you add up those, all those? Yes. So your answer would be 299 different ways to make at most three item pizza if this information was true for Pizza Factory.